dear students welcome to the second lecture of class 9th chapter number 1 matter in our surroundings in the previous lecture we discussed what is matter anything which occupies space has mass and can be felt by our senses is called matter then what is panch tattva air water earth sky and fire then we did modern classification of matter on the basis of physical properties as well as chemical properties so dear students today we are going to discuss physical nature of matter and to understand it in a better manner let us discuss two activities activity number one is matter continuous or particulate to perform this activity we need beaker water glass rod and salt or a sugar now take a beaker fill some water into it and after filling water mark the level of water then take a teaspoon filled with sugar or salt and put in water and stir it well with the help of glass rod once again take water in a beaker add salt or sugar into it and stir well and then observe and then conclude we see that salt or a sugar dissolves in water and the level of water after adding salt or sugar remains the same that is the level remains the same third thing why the level remains the same because the particles of salt or sugar occupy the space present between water molecules this is activity number one let's see the activity number two take a beaker and then 100 ml water into it once again take a beaker and 100 ml water into it and add two to three crystals of potassium permanganate what is potassium permanganate it is a chemical having a formula kmno4 having three elements potassium k mn manganese and o4 means four atoms of oxygen it is an ionic compound it occurs in the form of dark colored purple crystals so when crystals of potassium permanganate are added in 100 ml of water the water becomes dark pink color now from this beaker take out 10 ml of water definitely it is color remains the same now this 10 ml of solution is added in the next beaker that is beaker number two having 90 ml of water so 90 plus 10 becomes again 100 when 100 ml solution is there if you compare the color this second beaker solution color is little bit lighter than the first one now from the second beaker you take out again 10 ml solution and add it in clear 90 ml of fresh water taken in a third beaker again the solution become 100 ml but you see that the color in the third beaker is lighter than second and the color of the second is lighter than the first that means if we repeat the same activity five to eight times in this way we see that the color becoming lighter and lighter that means with every dilution color becomes light we can perform the same activity by taking a chemical called detol but you know detol is a liquid so take 2 ml of detol and add in 100 ml of water detol has a specific smell you can feel it or you can smell it well so take out again 10 ml 
Add to fresh 10 90 ml of water and repeat the activity again 5 to 8 times. When the activity is performed by taking it all 5 to 8 times, it means you smell that liquid you can still feel the smell of it all but it is too light that means the smell becomes fainter and fainter so this activity help us to conclude that there must be millions of particles in one crystal of potassium permanganate when we have added potassium permanganate here so this is first activity have done is matter continuous or particulate it says the matter is Particulate. Second activity, how small are the particles? They are very, very small particles because the crystals disappear, keep disappearing and the color becoming lighter and lighter. That means bigger particles are keep dividing into smaller and smaller particles. That means they are too small beyond our imaginations. Now, characteristics of particles of matter. There are mainly Three characteristics of particles of matter mainly. Number one, particles of matter have space between them. This we can understood by activity number one and two. See the activity number one, salt or sugar taken, added to water, the level remains the same because the particles of salt or sugar occupy the space present between water molecules. Here the same, particles of matter have space between them. But this space is maximum in case of gases, lesser in case of liquids, and least in case of solids. Let us see the second characteristics. Particles of matter are continuously moving. To understand this activity, let us see, take an incense stick, unlit, and put it in the one corner of a room and sit at a distance. You cannot feel the smell of it. Now, go closer to the incense stick, light the incense stick and again place it at the same corner. Now, sitting at a distance after some time, you can feel the smell of incense stick because the particles present in the incense stick travel through air and reaches near to you. So here is the activity which shows that particles of matter are continuously moving. In this, if the temperature is increased, this movement of particles becomes faster. Why? Particles movement become faster on increasing temperature because that kinetic energy increases. As the kinetic energy increases, the movement of the particle becomes faster. If a perfume bottle is opened in one corner of the room, after some time, it can be smelled at other corners as well in the room. That also shows that the particle of the perfume, they are traveling in different directions. One more activity, take water and add one crystal of potassium permanganate. After putting one crystal potassium permanganate in water, you can find purple or dark pink color streaks moving in different directions. Or one example, when disprin is put into water, you see the particle moving in different directions. And that phenomenon is called diffusion. So intermixing of particles on their own is called diffusion. Once again, the phenomenon of diffusion, intermixing of particles of gases on their own is called diffusion. You can define in other way as well. The movement of particle from their higher concentration to their lower concentration is called diffusion. Diffusion is maximum in case of gases lesser in case of liquids and the least you can say rarely seen in case of solids. Third property, particles of matter attract each other. I have shown here two particles and arrows attracting each other but this attraction is maximum in solids because the particles are very close to each other. 
in liquid there is a small gap between them that is why the particle of salt or sugar occupy the space between water molecules the gap is there the particle little bit move about liquid particles so and least attraction is there in case of gases because the maximum interparticle space is seen in case of gases so there are three properties particles of matter have space between them known with the help of activity 1 and 2 particles of matter are continuously moving you can see it under, understand it better manner by using an activity using incense stick particles of matter attract each other as i've told you the attraction is maximum in case of solid and least in case of gases you take iron nail chalk rubber band hit it with a hammer hard you can know that it becomes flat it breaks into pieces so you can come to know there are different force of attraction between different particles of matter so you can say characteristics of particles matter of particles are three particles of matter have space between them particles of matter are continuously moving and particles of matter attract each other so this is all for today in this lecture